What's good, fellas? Let's cut to the chase. Real men believe in God. Period. Point blank. If you're atheist, this video will change your mind. I promise you. And for background, right? I I grew up in a Christian household. My father, he's a pastor. My mother followed my father, right? They are still in the Christian religion. And I respect the Christian religion. I respect Islam. I respect Hinduism. I respect Buddhism. I respect all of these different religions and spiritualities. I myself grew to a point where I went beyond religion because I do believe religion is essentially the, it's like, it's like training wheels, right? When you go on training wheels and you learn how to ride a bike, sooner or later, you're going to get off of those training wheels and you're going to be able to ride the bike and it'll be natural. And you're not going to have to think of the mechanisms, right? Of how to ride that bike. You're still going to be learning different tricks. You're still going to be learning different efficient ways to ride the bike. That's me, right? I grew to a point where Christianity became something that I understood, but I wanted more. I wanted to learn more. And that's what got me into, I don't want to say spirituality because <laughs> there's a negative connotation to spirituality, but I, I just became more, I became closer to God when I stopped applying religion to it. So I do believe that all real men need to believe in God, but it's not the reason that you think. And I came to this conclusion pretty recently. And to be honest, there's a, there's a real reason for this. When you are a man, your whole purpose on this planet is to provide value and to give to the world. You need to give yourself to as many people as possible and help other people improve their lives. As a man, that is your job. That is your burden. I call it the Atlas experience, right? You have the world on your shoulders and you need to carry the world on your shoulders. But the only way you can carry the world on your shoulders, listen carefully, is by having a source. God is the infinite source and God is not some white guy in the sky, the way that religion tries to preach it. God is not human, right? God does not have human characteristics, that is another flaw in religion that I dislike. Religion talks a lot about the humanization, right? It's almost like when we believe that everything revolved around the earth, when really everything revolved around the sun. We're very selfish beings, right? We like to believe that everything revolves around us. This is another reason why I, I don't really follow religion specifically. I appreciate religion and I appreciate the concepts and the structures of religion. But the overall principles, the, the spiritual principles... I disagree with. But I say this because as a man, as you're giving, you need a source. You need reservoirs. You need something that is bigger than you to support you in this process. Because as a man, as, as you realize, you, you, you don't have anybody to lean on. Nobody can help you but yourself. And by believing in God, you now have somebody that you can go to. You have something that's almost like a guide for you because you are going to be the guide for other people. You are the leader on this in this world. So you need to understand that God is extremely important to believe in. Now, I know what some of you are going to say, well, how do you know if God's real? God's not real. I don't care. And you shouldn't care either because it's all about having a mental framework. It's all about having a framework that allows for you to succeed in life. If your mental model, if your belief is something that allows for you to live a better life, allows for you to do the things that you are supposed to do, that is a correct belief, right? It doesn't matter whether the belief is scientifically correct. If there's proof, it does not matter. The belief is all you need because as a human being, you have to understand, we are all human beings living a, sorry, we are all spiritual beings living a human experience. That is what you have to understand. So you are on this planet to really live the, the human experience, to be a human being, to understand things. We're here to learn. But as men, our, our roles in society are to provide, are to provide for other people, our families, our loved ones. That is our, our sole purpose is to improve the world, right? And it can be very lonely when you don't believe in God. 
I told you, I won't actually, I didn't tell you. I went on a stint where I just did not want to believe in God because I got so fed up with religion. I got so fed up with asking um, my, my father, asking the church, asking different people. I live in Utah, so Mormonism is big here. When they come to me, I ask them questions that they can't answer. And because they can't answer these questions and they get flustered and I get judgment for this, it turns me off to religion. And I don't think I'll ever be turned on to religion, right? But I do appreciate God. I do believe that God exists. And God is not who who humans believe. God is incomprehensible. You cannot know who God is. You can't, there, there'd be no way for you to do that because God is beyond time, beyond, beyond matter, beyond everything, right? So we've settled that. But as a man, you need to have that backbone. You need to have that thing that you can believe in that can allow for you to take on the day every single day, allow for you to have the energy to be able to provide for other people because you will essentially get drained. You do not have enough energy as a human being to carry the world on your shoulders by yourself. You need God to help you carry. Atlas, the Atlas experience, you're carrying the world on your shoulders and you need God to help you give you that support as a steroid to help you carry that burden, carry the burden of, of, of work, the burden of, of providing value. Yes, it, it is a burden. Regardless of what you think, a burden because you you are basically exerting effort. You're exerting everything in your being to make this world a better place. So as a man, you need to believe in God. That is, that is the one cheat code as a man that will allow for you to transcend your natural human ability. And it, it is that belief that a lot of men tend to move away from because of religion. I'm here to tell you. You do not need religion. I, I do recommend, so I'll say this, religion gave me a great foundation of spirituality. It gave me a great foundation of right, wrong, of, of how, to, how to serve other people. Um, it, it allowed for me to be the person that I am today. I can't take that away from it. But at the end of the day, I can look beyond religion and I can understand. And I always tell people this, right? All religions revolve around one thing and that's God, right? And they all have their own cultural definitions of who God is based on certain, obviously, cultures, certain certain regions of, of, of earth, right? Every religion has its own perspective of who God is. They personify God in a certain way, right? So because of that, you have to look at religion almost like, or, or the idea of religion, almost like a painting. I always say this. You look at a painting and Imagine that whole painting is God. There's blue, there's green, there's all these colors. All these colors are on one canvas, right? This canvas is on the wall. Now think about humans as ants, all right? So humans, <laughs> ants, if you don't know, ants can only see what's in front of them. They can't see what's above them. They can't see really what's below them as much. Um, they can't see what's behind them. They can only see what's directly right there in front of them. That is who humans are. Humans are ants, right? They don't have the ability, at least a lot of humans don't have the ability to perceive the fourth dimension. Now we're going into deeper topics, but let's go back to surface level topics. Imagine ants going up a, a, a canvas, right? And that canvas, one ant ends up finding a blue spot. That blue spot, that ant says, wow, this is God. This is who God is. This blue spot is God. It now convinces all these other ants that are trying to find their way to follow it back to that blue spot that it considers God, right? Another ant accidentally makes a right turn. That right turn leads to a green spot. Now that green spot is what that ant considers God. And it convinces all of these army of ants that have now tried to figure things out that this is God, this is God. Now you have the blue spot, you have the green spot. Another ant finds the purple spot. They say, that's God, that, that purple spot is God. Now, they start fighting, right? They start fighting each other and they start fighting. They say, no, God's blue, God green, God purple. When in reality, God is the entire canvas. So because God is the entire canvas, all of them are fighting to say that basically who they believe is God is essentially the same thing. That is how I see religion, right? So if that's the case, all of it is God. You can study and take from each one of these religions and, and, and come up with an ideology for yourself to understand who God is for yourself with your, your own experience. Because the people who founded these religions founded them based on their experience of God, 
right? So that dispels the idea of you need to pick a religion because that's not what this video is about. This video is about having a genuine belief in God, having a visceral belief in God. Because you know that God can support you through a lot of the tough times you're going through. Because men go through pain and silence. That's why depression is at an all-time high for men right now. And it's, it's hardly talked about. It's talked about, obviously, to, 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 you know, mention. But it's not something that is important right now to, to, to you know, the world, to America. Men suffer in silence. And because of this, you need to have God, an entity, something that you believe in, to be able to lean on during the times of loneliness, during the times of being unsure. This is what's going to help you stay sane. And I, I urge you as men to really try to find God for yourself. Try to find a connection with God in any way you feel like it is. Some people, they go into nature. Some people, it's picking a religion. Some people, like for me, it can be African spirituality. It can be, you know, I, I'm Haitian American. I can look into Haitian spirituality. I can look at all kinds of things to really find God for myself. And God is always positive, right? God is always a positive idea. So that's how you know you're in the right path. But it's essential for you to really believe in God because that's what's going to help you transcend your human capability. And I hope this message rings true to a lot of you, especially a lot of you that, that swear that you're atheists. That's the worst position you can be as a man. That is actually... It's actually something that's going to hold you back because you're not going to have that support. You're not going to have that extra thrust to be able to do what you need to do to be able to achieve this massive mission that you have for yourself. I'm speaking to you because you're an ambitious man, right? You want so much for yourself. And the only way you're going to get that is through one, you, and two, through your belief in God and having something that is almost like gasoline to your fire, right? That can help you kind of flame even bigger. And the minute you have that, no one can stop you. I have God, so nobody can stop me. No religion can stop me. No person can stop me. No setback can stop me. Because at the end of the day, God is real to me. And I can lean on God. I can pray, right? And another thing is prayer. A lot of people say, hey, if you pray, things are going to work out. As a man, you have to understand. And this applies to anyone, not just men. But you need to understand that you have to pray with your feet and not with your hands. You need to do things. In the Bible, it says prayer without works is dead, right? Or faith without works is dead. That is absolutely correct. You need to be able to work. You need to be able to do what you need to do to make your visions possible. And you need to utilize God as a reference point, as fuel to be able to get you to where you want to be. That is my message to all of you men now who are considering God, who are, who are considering achieving big things in life. Always believe in God. Regardless of whether people say it's real, I say he, it's not a he or she. God is beyond gender, right? God, if you believe that God is a, a male or God is a, God is masculine and feminine, right? It's energy. God is energy, right? God is beyond gender. God is beyond a lot of human depiction. No human can ever accurately depict God because God is beyond us. Way, way, way beyond us. Incomprehensible. And we are not the only species on this planet. All right, because we're not the only species on this planet, or we're not the only species in this universe, so we can't make God human centric. We can't believe that we are we are the center of the universe and that everything revolves around us. We need to understand that there is a force, a powerful force beyond us that is here to allow for us to reach our highest potential and leave a mark on this universe, make a ripple on this universe. So believe in God. Real men believe in God, and I will stand by this for the rest of my life. If you like this video, let me know if this video changed your life. If this is something that you're now starting to think about, dive deeper into it. Understand God for, for, for yourself. Find who God is through your experiences and keep growing as men because we need these types of conversations so that we can thrive in this universe and make a dent in this universe. We're all living the Atlas experience and without God, we will drop the entire planet on our back. Thank you so much. Comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video.